Greetings, gals and guys, and welcome back to The Big Sweep. Today, we're diving into the not-so-glamorous world of cleaning. We all know the usual suspects, floors, countertops, and bathrooms. But there are some sneaky germ magnets lurking in your home that probably don't get the attention they deserve. So buckle up, clean freaks and cleaning-averse folks alike, because we're about to expose 10 things in your house that are probably way overdue for a scrub-a-dub-dub. One, let's start with the silent ninjas of the germ world. Light switches and doorknobs. Think about it, every time you flick on a light or turn a handle, you're transferring a little bit of yourself and whatever else you've touched that day. Imagine rushing in from grabbing the mail on a rainy day and your hands are a little damp. You flick on the light switch to illuminate the hallway. Now picture your kiddo who just finished finger painting a masterpiece, grabbing the same doorknob to greet you. These guys are constantly getting a workout, so a quick wipe down with a disinfectant wipe a few times a week can go a long way in preventing the spread of germs throughout your home. Two, your phone case. We love our phones and are practically attached to them at the hip. But that constant companionship means your phone case is a breeding ground for bacteria. Food crumbs, sweat, and who knows what else can get trapped in those little nooks and crannies. Think about it. You scroll through social media while catching a bite of lunch, take a call while rushing through the crowded train, and then use that same phone to pay for your groceries. All the while, your phone case is silently collecting evidence of your busy day. Here's the good news. Cleaning your phone case is a breeze. Take your case off every week, or more often if you're a gym rat, and give it a good wash with warm soapy water. If your case is silicone or rubber, you can even throw it in the top rack of the dishwasher for a deeper clean. Just make sure it's completely dry before putting it back on your phone. Before we carry on, if you are liking the video so far, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to The Big Sweep and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any episodes. Three, cutting boards. Sure, you wash your fruits and veggies before chopping, but what about the cutting board itself? Raw meat, poultry, and fish can leave behind invisible traces of bacteria that can make you sick. Cross-contamination is a real concern in the kitchen, and your cutting board can be a prime culprit. Here's how to keep your cutting board safe. Material matters. Different materials require different cleaning methods. Plastic and glass cutting boards can be sanitized with a bleach solution, diluted according to package instructions. Wooden cutting boards are a bit more delicate. Wash them with hot, soapy water and let them air dry completely. You can also periodically disinfect them with a solution of vinegar and water. Designated duties. Consider having separate cutting boards for meat and produce. This helps to minimize the risk of cross-contamination. Deep clean routine. Every few months, give your cutting boards a deeper clean. For wooden boards, you can use a food-grade mineral oil to help prevent them from drying out and cracking. By following these simple steps, you can ensure your cutting boards are a safe and hygienic workspace for all your culinary creations. Four, light fixtures and ceiling fans. Out of sight, out of mind, right? Wrong. Dust bunnies love to gather on light fixtures and ceiling fans, and as that dust gets disturbed, it gets flung back down into the air you breathe. Imagine this, you finally settle in for a relaxing evening on the couch only to be greeted by a sneeze brought on by a dust cloud stirred up by the overhead fan turning on. Not exactly the picture of relaxation, is it? Here's how to combat the dust bunnies. Grab a buddy. Cleaning light fixtures and ceiling fans can be a bit of a reach. Grab a step stool for safety and stability. Fight with finesse. Use a microfiber cloth or a vacuum cleaner with a soft brush attachment to gently remove the dust. Be careful with delicate light fixtures and avoid using harsh chemicals that could damage the finish. Monthly maintenance. Aim to dust your light fixtures and ceiling fans at least once a month or more if you have pets. This will help to improve your indoor air quality and keep your home looking its best. Five, vacuum cleaner attachments and filters. We rely on our trusty vacuums to suck up dirt and debris but what about the dirt clinging to the attachments and filters themselves? Think about it. You use the crevice tool to clean out dusty corners. 
the upholstery attachment to refresh your furniture, and the floor brush to tackle those pesky pet hairs. All that dust, dirt, and debris gets trapped in the attachments. Now, picture a clogged filter. A clogged filter means your vacuum isn't working at peak efficiency. Imagine pushing your vacuum across the carpet, feeling like it's not quite picking up everything. Frustrating, right? Not only is it frustrating, but a clogged filter also means your vacuum isn't filtering out dust and allergens as effectively as it should. Here's how to keep your vacuum cleaner running smoothly. Consult the manual. Your vacuum cleaner's manual is your best friend. It will contain specific cleaning instructions for your particular model, including how to clean the attachments and replace the filter. Washing Warriors. Most vacuum cleaner attachments can be washed with warm, soapy water. Let them dry completely before reattaching them to the vacuum. Filter Frenzy. Filters come in different types, and some are washable, while others need to be replaced regularly. Check your manual for the recommended filter replacement schedule. By taking a few minutes to clean your vacuum cleaner attachments and filters, you'll ensure it's working efficiently and doing its job of keeping your home clean. 6. Your pillows. We spend a third of our lives sleeping, so it makes sense that our pillows can harbor a multitude of unpleasant things, like dead skin cells, dust mites, and even drool. Gross, I know. Imagine snuggling into your pillow at night, only to be greeted by a stuffy nose or itchy eyes. Not exactly the recipe for a restful sleep, is it? Here's how to keep your pillows fresh and allergen-free. Washing Wonders. Wash your pillows in hot water every two to three months. Check the care label for directions. Hot water helps to kill dust mites and bacteria. Drying Dilemmas. Don't just toss your pillows in the dryer and forget them. Fluff them up regularly to help them maintain their shape and be sure to dry them completely on low heat to prevent mildew growth. Extra effort for extra snuggles. If you suffer from allergies, consider encasing your pillows in allergen-proof covers. By following these simple steps, you can create a cleaner, healthier sleep environment and wake up feeling refreshed and revitalized. Leave us a comment below telling us what is your favorite thing to clean more often. And tell us what you should clean more often in your house. We really do love to hear from you. 7. Throw rugs. Those cozy throw rugs may feel nice underfoot, but they can trap dirt, dust, and allergens. Imagine stepping out of the shower onto a throw rug that feels gritty. Not exactly the luxurious spa experience you were hoping for, right? Here's how to keep your throw rugs clean. The Shakeout. Give your throw rugs a good shake outside to remove loose dirt and debris. Vacuum Victories. Vacuum your throw rugs regularly using the upholstery attachment to get into the nooks and crannies. Washing Woes. Depending on the material, you can throw your throw rugs in the washing machine following the care instructions. Always check the label first to avoid shrinkage or color bleeding. By maintaining your throw rugs, you can keep them looking fresh and prevent them from becoming a breeding ground for allergens. 8. Laundry Baskets. We toss our dirty clothes in there, so naturally, laundry baskets get dirty too. Sweat, skin cells, and lingering food particles can create a breeding ground for bacteria. Imagine reaching into your laundry basket to grab some clothes and being met with a less than pleasant odor. Not exactly the motivation you need to get started on laundry day, is it? Here's how to keep your laundry baskets clean and odor-free. Empty, often. Empty your laundry basket regularly to prevent dirty clothes from piling up. Wiping Warriors. Wipe down the inside of your laundry basket with a disinfectant wipe or a solution of warm water and vinegar every few weeks. Liner Love. Consider using a washable liner in your laundry basket. This will help to trap dirt and debris and make cleaning even easier. By keeping your laundry baskets clean, you can prevent the spread of bacteria and keep your dirty clothes from smelling even worse. 9. The inside of your dishwasher. You might think your dishwasher is doing all the cleaning, but food particles and soap scum can build up inside the machine itself. 
Imagine opening your dishwasher after a cycle and finding a film of grime on the dishes. Not exactly the sparkling clean results you were hoping for, right? Here's how to keep your dishwasher functioning optimally. Self-cleaning. Savvy. Most dishwashers have a self-cleaning cycle you can run periodically. Consult your dishwasher's manual for specific instructions. Spray arm showdown. Food particles can get lodged in the spray arms, hindering their ability to properly clean your dishes. Regularly remove the spray arms and rinse them under running water to clear any debris. Gasket guardians. The rubber gasket around the dishwasher door can trap food particles and moisture, leading to mold and mildew growth. Wipe down the gasket with a damp cloth after each cycle to keep it clean and dry. By giving your dishwasher a little TLC on the inside, you can ensure it continues to clean your dishes thoroughly and hygienically. 10. Your car interior. We spend a surprising amount of time in our cars, and let's be honest, they can become rolling garbage cans. Crumbs, coffee spills, and mystery dust bunnies accumulate faster than you think. Imagine getting into your car for a road trip, only to be greeted by a sea of crumpled napkins and an overwhelming odor. Not exactly the ideal way to start your adventure, is it? Here's how to give your car a quick cleanup. Trash Patrol. First things first, grab a trash bag and remove all the loose garbage lurking beneath the seats and in the cup holders. Don't forget to check the door pockets and under the floor mats for any hidden treasures. Vacuum Extravaganza. Hit the seats, floor mats, and dashboard with your car vacuum cleaner. Use the crevice tool to get into the nooks and crannies between the seats and around the center console. Wipe down wonders. Use a damp microfiber cloth with an all-purpose cleaner to wipe down the dashboard, steering wheel, and center console. Don't forget the door handles and window controls. For a streak-free finish on your windows, use a glass cleaner and another microfiber cloth. Deodorized Dilemmas. If your car has lingering odors, sprinkle baking soda on the carpets and upholstery. Let it sit for 30 minutes and then vacuum it up. You can also place a bowl of white vinegar in your car overnight to absorb unpleasant smells. By giving your car interior a regular cleaning, you'll create a more pleasant and hygienic environment for yourself and your passengers. Cleaning Hacks and Shortcuts. Listen, I get it. Cleaning isn't always high on the priority list, but here are some time-saving hacks to make those chores a little less daunting. Multitasking magic. While you're waiting for the kettle to boil, wipe down your counters with a disinfectant wipe. Double down by using a microfiber cloth to dust the microwave while your coffee brews. These little bursts of cleaning can make a big difference over time. Cleaning Caddy Companion. Fill a caddy with your go-to cleaning supplies and keep it in a central location, like under the kitchen sink or in a closet. This way, you're grab-and-go ready when a cleaning inspiration strikes. The power of prevention. Line your trash cans with a bag to make cleanup easier. Place a doormat inside and outside your entryway to trap dirt and debris before it gets tracked in. By taking preventative measures, you can minimize the amount of cleaning you have to do in the long run. Remember, even a small cleaning effort goes a long way. So don't be intimidated by the thought of a deep clean. Start with these often overlooked areas and you'll be surprised at how much fresher and healthier your home and car feels.